Hello everyone, my name is Alberto, welcome back to my channel. In this video I wanted to show you really quickly how to do a macrame wall hanging thing. I'm gonna start with cutting some deliberate amount of rope and I'm basically just cutting as many as they fit. As you can see, I marked the center one with a square knot, but yeah, here we go. So once I marked the center one, I decided first to go for sort of like a V shape in the center, which made sense to me at the time. So basically I decided just to do uh, square knots all over the length of the project, let's say. And then I would do alternating square knots to create the shapes I wanted. So I start with the center and then I just go into the sides. In the center I wanted to create this sort of triangle shape that then would be sort of enclosed uh, within lines of, I believe it's called clove stitch, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Uh, but yeah, so I started with that and then as you can see this is the attempt at the clove stitch. By the way, turns out I hate it. So ended up dismantling the whole thing. It wasn't that bad, it just created weird spaces because it wasn't all the way through. So then I started sort of playing around and trying different things. Um, mostly still the alternating uh, square knot, just because it creates a very cute fun pattern. Uh, here you can see how I basically decided to take everything apart because I hated how it looked, the weird empty spaces in between with the strings diagonally, I just didn't like it and I keep turning my head because I'm watching TV. Uh, but yeah, this took three days by the way because I kept changing my mind, this is why it's usually better to prepare yourself. But this is what I ended up doing and I did like a lot. As you can see, it's just, again, a series of alternating square knots. It's just basically creating a pattern with them. I went with this uh, sort of diamond pattern thing that I really liked. And I'm basically just, again, alternating them in sort of different um, places just to create the different points um, and adding them or reducing them based on where I was at the pattern. I didn't really measure anything just because with the weight and the different things they do end up looking slightly different because they're not that stiff. Um, but yeah, obviously try to be as consistent as possible. So I ended up finishing on a point and then I tied all the strings into knots very close because I want to have them be a uh, fringe. And in the sides I did the exact same thing, obviously on a smaller scale, so it also looks a bit shorter. But um, what I did there is I sort of mirrored the top, so I ended on um, pyramid let's say, um, triangle, actually, I should say. So it's, again, exact same thing, alternating square knots. So if you remember from the other video, is left in the front and then right in the front, or vice versa, just uh, remember alternating the half square knots so they look nice and straight. And yeah, I did this all the way through, just to repeat the pattern. And this is how it ended up looking. To add a little bit of a point of interest, I did in the end some square knots and half square knots and my fringe. Once I unraveled everything to keep the fringe a little tidier, I did steam it. Just because since it was attached to the wall, I just couldn't physically carry it to my iron. Uh, but yeah, I just steamed it 
to make it nice and straight. And then I cut them at a sort of scale, I guess. Just, again, to give them a little more interesting points, as you can see. But you can sort of do whatever you want. You can do them straight, you can do them more at an angle. It's really up to you. This is just decorative in the end. So after that was done, this is the final result. And I really like it. Hope you like it too. It's very simple, but very, very fun. Again, going back on the same principle of last video. Hope you liked it. If you did, please leave a like. Subscribe if you aren't. Leave me comments and I'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye.